What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Two in the Stink. Uh, we're here with our, our friend uh, Nick Dees, all the way from Virginia. What's up, dude? What's up, dude? How are you guys? Thanks for having, or thanks for being here. I was just say thanks for having thanks us. Thanks for having us, yeah. you fucking gay weirdo. <laughs> thanks, for, thanks for having <laughs> us. Thanks for yeah. having us. Rob put on his favorite ground beef shorts today <laughs> to fucking to interview you. I did. Eat, I did eat tacos. Before yeah, this, yeah, so. yeah, yeah. What yeah. kind of tacos? Um, whatever my uh, mother-in-law made. Honestly, just spiders, beef, ground beef, spider spider. tacos. She's Filipina, so she's the big spider tacos, tarantula <laughs> yeah. tacos, everybody. Jerk tarantula here at Rob's house. Jerk tarantula. Jerk tarantula. That's like a man. sex move. Yeah, listen. That's pretty good. Eight oh. feet on one dick. <laughs> oh, I'm like, sure. hang on, hang on now. Wait a second. That's a lot of cum. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's a lot of cum. Lot, that's a lot of cum. That's a lot of cum. <laughs> So what's up, dude? Um, yeah, thanks for coming. Thanks for doing the pod, dude. Of course, I appreciate it. Thank you guys for having me up. Yeah, man. I, I'm kind of embarrassed now. You were like, "Yeah, can you take your shoes off?" I was like, "Yeah, sure." I got my good socks on. <laughs> I got a fucking hole in my sock. And uh, I took these me. off of a dead body <laughs> so yeah, I could I, come here. I could see. I could see that you the back I mean? is. Mm-hmm. They look tough on the back. These things, these, dude, they're leather backs, dude. These used to be footballs. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking just jam my foot into a football. <laughs> Laces out, dude. Laces Laces, yeah, out. dude. Yeah. My God. Um, but yeah, man, we had uh, we had quite the adventure this past weekend. Didn't Bro, we? that was a wild ride. Yeah, we uh, we did a don't tell, and then Kazi's out in Virginia. Jim was supposed to be on it, but yeah, what happened? Uh, too just, busy getting pussy. Too Gay busy getting pussy. Camp. Yeah, <laughs> too busy getting pussy. Playing rock paper scissors in the mirror. <laughs> Spent a couple hours doing that. Um, Do you missed out on a beautiful brunch, dude? Yeah, I, I had nine story of my life. <laughs> story of my life, dude. I'm always missing brunch. <laughs> I had a. Uh, I asked for. We got there and I asked for uh, a mimosa with just a splash of orange juice, and I didn't know they were ringing it up as champagne with a splash of orange juice. I thought I beat the system, and they were charging me like an extra like four bucks. I was like, "Fuck you guys." Yeah. They got him. They were like, "You think you're yeah, fucking smooth? Yeah. Dude. So you think I could just get like light orange juice, like very light, like none? Yeah, just like wave the like orange just juice. Just no orange juice, it. just whiskey. Can I have whiskey? The first mm-hmm. one he got had the same. It had like the same color of like ginger ale. That was like the weirdest mm-hmm. part. Yeah, he's like, that's perfect. That's just enough that's orange exactly juice. Exactly what I want. It's just booze. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's yeah. no orange. He's never even. He actually doesn't know idea what an orange looks like. Yeah. He thinks it comes out of the tree. Of juice. <laughs> uh, look. Look, I'm a, you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm a party animal. What can I say? I like a good time. <laughs> What's hilarious is that there's a big bunch of bananas over there and Rob, like, those are like stage bananas. <laughs> They're not, Rob's not going to actually eat one of those. No. Like plastic I'm, dollhouse fruit. Like, yeah, he does. Know, there literally is. I could go get you a plastic orange right now <laughs> and I'm not kidding. <laughs> That's in my mom's side. Doesn't count. Yeah, it doesn't count. It's my mommy's side of the house. Doesn't count. No, leave it alone. Those are real bananas. You Sure. I mean, don't make me, he's don't, not going to. He's not going to find out. <laughs> I'll be honest, dude. Looking at all three of us, I'm like, none of us have fucking eaten bananas at all. Dude, ever. I, I eat them. I just fry them first. <laughs> I fry them in beef tallow and fucking. And you put them on top of your ice cream. You put them on top of my burger. <laughs> Banana burger. But now, wait a minute. You might be onto something. Peanut butter burgers, I think. I've had like you, people use plantains to make like bread. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. They'll make like a. They'll be like, "Here's fucking fried chicken on, those, yeah, la <laughs> Yeah, and then you get robbed. I don't know. I like how your like r- true first impression of me was. I came over your house, and then you watched me drink nine mimosas, and then I bought a bottle of tequila, and we said, "I said it's nice out. We have to sit outside." And I made you sit outside in your front yard with me drinking tequila. And then I was like, I should probably take a nap. I have this show later. And I said, hey, man. I was like, wake me up or whatever. And you tried to wake me up from the nap. And I was like, oh, fuck. I should probably start getting ready for this show. And then I went downstairs. And like as soon as I stood up, I was like, oh, I'm so fucked up. And I went downstairs, puked in your toilet, and then showered in your shower. And I was like, all right, man, let's go. Dude, so the best part of that whole interaction is like, that's your perspective of the whole story. Mm-hmm. So I showed up and I'm like, we went to breakfast, we got back to the house, my wife immediately like, I'm like, hey, me and Rob are going to go get more booze. And she's like, yay, awesome. Mm-hmm. She's like, we got back and I'm like, dude, come outside, have a drink with us. She was like, absolutely not, I can't. She's like, I'm just going to lay here. And within minutes, like she was just done. Mm-hmm. She had like, what, like six fucking mimosas. She was at, trying to keep she, up with dude, me. She was, she was trying to keep pace with you and she she cut me off because she's like one of us has to drive. Yeah. And I was like alright well then I guess I have to forfeit. I'm thank the God, car. Thank God Rob's a professional. 
<laughs> dude, I, I had like five Tito's and sodas at breakfast. Dude, I feel like I'm drunk right now. I feel like I'm dude. seeing double. <laughs> seeing <was>. chubble. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy, dude. So the, the wild part oh. was we like we got back to the house and just started drinking that fucking tequila out. Mm-hmm. Like I've lived in that house for seven years and I told you, I was like, I've never once sat outside ever. And then we had my fucking, dude, my crazy ass neighbor comes out. He started doing bird calls behind my car. Did you catch that? <laughs> no, I was so hammered. Oh, dude. I thought was, it was the birds. Dude, no. My my next door neighbor is this like thin, wiry Hispanic dude with like <laughs> long black hair. And he was behind so my car. So all of them? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. He was behind my car going, woo, and it was the weirdest shit. And then I made eye contact with him, and he walked backwards into his house. Dude, it was the weirdest mm-hmm. shit. That's a Virginia crackhead call. Mm-hmm. Dude, 100%. That's how, you, that's how you summon a hyena. <laughs> <laughs> dude. But when we, like, so when I went to go wake you up, I'm like, oh, dude, it's 6 o'clock. Like, my wife had woke up from her nap. I took a nap, and I was like, I got to wake him up. We got to show in an hour. Yeah. And. The crazy thing was, I'm like, we've never really like hung out in person at all. So I <laughs> opened the door. I, mind you, I let him sleep in my my son's bed. <laughs> I let him sleep in my well, son's it's perfect bed. size. <laughs> and I'm like, there's an air mattress right there from the last time he had a sleepover. You could just take his bed if you want. It's probably more comfortable. Mm-hmm. And then I just like, I knock on the door because I could hear his alarm going off. So I knock on the door and nothing. <laughs> so I go in. And I just stand over him. I'm like, hey, dude. <laughs> Hey, dude, we got a show in an hour. And he just goes, get me in 30. And I was like, what? (sighs) Fuck. All right. So then I just left. I just went back downstairs and my wife was like, is he good or did you kill him? And I was like, nah, he committed suicide. That was all. I didn't do anything. Yeah. I didn't even want tequila. Rob, he's just, yeah. Dude, so like when he's like, he comes downstairs, he's like, yeah, dude, I'm going to take a shower real quick. Then I'm ready to go. And as soon as I hear the water running, my wife and I were like, she's just looking at me going, I think you fucking killed him. And the next thing I just hear, Rob's just fucking throwing up in the bathroom. She's like, how's he going to be able to go on stage? And I was like, watch. He's Oof. a professional, dude. He'll figure it out. Dude. Pros the do. show must go on. Haven't you like watched any Queen documentaries, dude? <laughs> oh, yeah, literally, he was like, uh, yeah, he, he would get like, he would get a gallon of cum in his ass and he'd go out on stage and he would captivate. Dude, and then after he came off stage, my wife, like, so we go to the show, and after you came off stage, my wife looked over and goes, he's double fisting beers. How's he going to make it home? <laughs> well, I had one beer, and then somebody bought me one. I saw that. And that's like, I'm not going to say no. Yeah, that's rude. <laughs> I, had an, I had an Irish coffee before I went on stage, yep. and then I, uh, I think I had a beer on stage, or I just got off stage and ordered one, and then somebody was like, oh, by the way, they ordered you one. And I was yep. like, okay, I guess I'm drinking two beers now. And I went home, and then on, I stopped at a gas station. I uh, bought a, a pack of Zin and an energy drink. And I, that was my that was my energy to get home. I put on uh, it with Stephen King and listened to most of that on the way home. The audio book? Yeah, the audio book. I'm an audio book guy now. Did I'm like, you, yeah, I read books. He's like, I would never watch CP, but I will listen he doesn't to read it. Books. He doesn't read books because he's scared of paper cuts. That's why he doesn't. He just books watched are just scary. the child orgy scene just on yeah. audio book just over and over. I haven't ah. gotten to that yet. It is a little bit weird, though. Yeah, because you're going to hear another grown-up say it out loud. Okay. It sounds bad. Yeah, well, I haven't gotten to that part yet. I probably no spo- never will. No spoilers. I, n- I probably never will. I probably <laughs> yeah, never, I probably never will. <laughs> Unless I have another long car ride. Next, yeah. Next long. Well, I am going to Maine, so. Oh, you got yeah. it. You'll be fine. You'll get there. Yeah. You'll make it through. You should listen to scary, like, Maine stories. Oh, yeah. 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 There's a lot of really scary stuff that happens in Maine. Talk about skin, like, listen about skinwalkers and yeah, shit. Yeah, skinwalkers and, like. That shit's pretty cool. And, like, yeah. I heard there's a, there's a moose up there. Yeah, moose, meese, mice, moose, moose. 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 There's moose, moose up there. It's moose and mooses, I think. So I was talking. I was talking yeah. to uh, one of the audience members after the show in Virginia, and um, they were like, "Yeah, be careful driving to Maine. You could hit a moose. And they're so fucking tall. You'll clip their legs, and their body will fall and crush your car." And I yeah. was like, "That's they're eight thousand pounds. Cool. That's I'm not sick. scared of that. That's fun. Yeah. Cool. New fear. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. New fear unlocked. Yeah. An eight thousand pound burger <laughs> with legs." <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine how like how excited your wife would be if you just came home with a moose head? Oh my god, she would be so thrilled. Full intact moose head. Like, guess what, babe? I've got more clutter for our house. Yeah, you're like, uh, the club didn't pay me shit. The show was awful. I wrecked the car, but I killed the moose that fucking fell into it. Yeah, that's she, your trophy. She'd be we like, have, thank me, God. Yeah, you have your mom air fry this. <laughs> yeah, 
<laughs> yeah, my mo- yeah, my so my mother in law is Filipina and she's always over here just cooking fucking rub soy sauce on this moose's antler and put it in the air fryer. Literally like an hour before the podcast, like right before you got here, she was making me tacos. It was awesome. Mm-hmm. She showed up. I was like, I'm doing the podcast in like an hour. Like she cooks in the kitchen right here. I was like, I don't like. Th-. She's like, oh, she's like, I'll be quick. She I'm fucking. Fast. I watched her cook so fast. Yeah, she pulled out a fucking hibachi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Does she ever make you like pancit and lumpia and shit, like actual Filipino stuff? Um, not really. She's like, she's a big into um uh, pork belly, pork belly. That's um, not even Filipina. That's just generally Asian. That'd be really funny <laughs> if she was like, "No, only hoagies, only hoagies." Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've, she, I've actually had a dream of her saying that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she's hot. She's hot. I'll say it. He's like, <laughs> I'm not afraid to say it. She's Jim's hot. just dreaming of your mother-in-law being like, "Stuff the bread, stuff the bread." Like, I'm gonna stuff it. I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> I'm gonna stuff. Yeah, I've heard her shaking a fucking bottle of soy sauce on me. I'm like, ah. <laughs> I'm like, oh no. That's your fantasy? <laughs> yeah. It's like her getting... trying to pick me up with chopsticks. <laughs> <laughs> your fantasy is getting marinated. She my, just... Yeah, my fantasy is getting marinated like a fucking hard boiled egg. <laughs> Dude, I was at work yesterday and my boss was like, hey man, we're uh, we're going to try balut eggs. Mm-hmm. And I was like, no, the fuck we're not. I'm not, I'm not eating that. Is that the like, one that has the chicken? It's, yeah, dude, it's yeah. got the fucking like fermented chicken in it. Like the little baby bird in it. Yeah. And I was like, you can't pay me enough to fucking do that oh, shit. I'll, fucking, I'll throw they, Is that the one where they dump the sherry wine in it and they fucking the shoot sheer, it? Sherry wine? <laughs> they fucking, they, fucking, they shoot Dude, it back like a shooter? I think so. I, there was like, I saw a video, like Bobby Lee ate one. And That's, it's like, you could yeah. see you could see the birds, like, it's in yeah. there. Like it's, it's, not in bo- there. it's not bones yet, but it's it's got structure. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's still like pre-crunch, you know? <laughs> pre-crunch? It's got a crunch. It's got a little crunch. <laughs> I watched a Dude. I watched a woman eat Ugh. a baby bird out of a bush one time. What? When did you uh, see that? So I, think you I was told in, me about my it. buddy. Yeah, I told you about this. My buddy lived in Chinatown, and uh, we used to like, go to the Eagles game together all the time. So I would go to his place. We get high and we go to the Eagles game. So one time I went to his house, and we were going to go get a drink before we went down to the stadium. And across the street uh, from where he lived, there's a chicken place, and but there was like a bunch of bushes outside, and we saw this lady digging through the bush with a golf club, and she picked a little pink baby bird out of the bush and put it right in her mouth. It was the most awesome thing I've ever seen in my life. Bro, holy shit! Because I was like, I was like, I looked at him. I was like, they don't waste, they don't waste a damn thing. Oh my god! She was like, I'm so hungry now. I don't want to wait for it to be big enough. It's, I want it now. That'd be yeah. my luck. I would get reincarnated as a baby bird and then immediately be eaten out of a bush by me digging through it with a golf club. <laughs> That's such a random like item of choice too. She had a, it was a golf club, just that. just a fucking putter. That's just so weird. Is Take it all she a had? Bush, stole I it assume, from outside of a putt-putt. I assume she... Was she homeless, she, do you think, or uh, just hungry? Uh, you know what? When you're in Chinatown, they all look like they could be homeless. Okay. Just and a just, random bag lady that's like... Just, oh. just a hunched over Asian lady just to put a baby bird right in her fucking mouth. What would she have sounded like digging through the bush, Jim? I'm just curious. Uh, uh, well, yeah. She was probably like, you know, there's probably something delicious in here. (laughs) That's what she would have sounded like. That's exactly what she said. Her voice was like, you know. (laughs) What if she was just like an old black auntie? She's like, "Mm, girl, come over here, little bird. (laughs) Like, listen, baby, you going in my mouth. (laughs) That's a delicious little bird. Oh, you succulent as hell. (laughs) (laughs) I told Rob. I I told Rob probably one of the most like conversationally racist things over the weekend. That was pretty fun. That was good. Yeah. That. Oh, was that was that when I was hammered? Because I might have forgotten. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. We were in the elevator. Oh, at, that was at good. The funny bone. Yeah. And there was a there was a, a loose braid <laughs> on the floor in the fucking <laughs> elevator, and I said, "Oh shit, dude! It's a Portsmouth rattlesnake. <laughs> it likes to talk. I go, I go. It likes to talk during movies." <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he killed. He headlined the elevator ride. It was insane, dude, dude. I, I, you know what's funny? An elevator is a unique place to kill <laughs> yeah. because I've done it a couple times. Like where where a stuffed elevator and someone just rips a joke. It's 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 it. There should be like there should be reels of like people killing saying. elevators. Like you're just you're the king of the next like two to three floors. Yep. You're like yeah. fuck it. Dude. You own yeah. that room until yeah, you dude, have to get pretty off. Pretty good. There was one time, uh, Jim. We were in DC with our friend Gray. And Jim was, like, being quiet the whole fucking day. And I was like, are you okay? He's like, yeah, I'm just being chill. Like, I don't want to, like, I don't, I'm not, I don't always want to be on. I'm like, no, like, come on, be funny. Come on. He was being quiet the whole fucking day. And then we get in the elevator, and uh, the door's shut, and he goes, okay, I know you guys have been waiting. 
black people. <laughs> and they were both like, they were both like, literally like shaking he's, on the ground. Like, like, he's like, I know you guys have been patient. Blacks. Blacks. <laughs> we walked through, we were like walking great. around DC. I was like, blacks. <laughs> blacks. <laughs> not, that, I didn't, not that, I didn't even say any, not that they were bothering me or anything. I was just stating you what was, their existence. Just saying what I was seeing. You were just acknowledging them. See and say. That's what yeah. it was. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I gave them their flowers. <laughs> yeah. And then we yeah, we walked around the um the blackest Walmart I've ever been in. Oh, it shit. doesn't exist anymore. No, it's literally gone. Yeah. They fucking moved it to Wakanda. That's how fucking <laughs> awesome it was. They picked it up and shipped it out. Yeah, our buddy Gray lived above a Walmart. So mm-hmm. it'd just be us come back from the club all fucked up. And it's like, wow, yeah, we could definitely go for microwave pizza and nachos. It's like the worst area for a Walmart to be. That's yeah. nuts. We did buy the weirdest food. <laughs> like, yeah. We went down there. We're like, let's get like a 30 inch TV and like wings. <laughs> like should, it was such a you weird time. just like dug, a, like cut a hole in his floor and then just Mission Impossible <laughs> into the wall. Oh, I thought you were going to say like ice fishing for black kids. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> just, yeah, wait, I got a bite. <laughs> Send down a wing. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I caught Terrence. <laughs> I'm like, Look at this. <laughs> Look at how long that one is. <laughs> it's interesting where your brain went with that. Yeah, I right? immediately I heard cutting a hole in the ground. I was like, ice fishing. <laughs> He's like, Yeah, we're fishing. We're fishing for black kids. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, That's pretty good. <laughs> our buddy, our buddy Gray is uh, allergic to gluten, so he like went to Walmart and bought a bunch of like gay shit. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's like pizza, but it's gross. Yeah. It's pizza, <laughs> but it's gross. Ew. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's buy yucky cookies. <laughs> yeah, good cookies are like 99% gluten, <laughs> yeah. I think. It's like, cool, this is just fucking a, like a chocolate chip I'm that like, went to I'm rehab. Like, get there. Yeah, I'm getting there. You'll get that chocolate that. chip that's that's that went to rehab? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just, okay. you let, let him cook. Let him wait, wait I, a minute. Uh, I had a buddy who was in, uh, he was in the military. And he said that they used to do this thing called Ookie Cookie. Mm -hmm. And it was like all these dudes would get in a circle and they would all take turns jerking off on a cookie. Oh, God. And then whoever comes last has to eat the cookie. I don't believe that. That's such a fucking... Here's the thing. I don't believe they did that. I mean, if they did, awesome. I need to join the military. (laughs) But (laughs) Oh, I'll tag along. Jim's like, oh, no. (laughs) Oh, no. That'd be the perfect cookie to get it on, too. A tag along. Yeah, tag along. (laughs) Samoas. Samoas. (laughs) Samoas, dude. Can't call them that anymore. You're canceled, brother. Man. They're caramel delights. Is that what they are? Yeah. Yeah, they have, that's we, what my grandma used to refer to mixed kids as. Dude, that's so funny because we have a friend who used to, he did a joke about how he's like caramel delights. I think that's so funny because that's what I call Samoan girls. <laughs> yeah, good. so you hosted uh, for Ebony Moore's album recording. Recently, yeah, didn't you? yeah. So uh, our friend uh, just recorded her l- live album the other day. Tell us about that. Uh, it was awesome because I think I we're going to try to have her as a guest next week. Yeah, so she. Uh, she ran an hour. It was fucking awesome. I walked in. She had like three. Di- she had a, a guy walking around with a camera, and then she had two different angles. And she just like it was like set up perfectly. Like so it was an then, album slash like special type. It was thing? like a, it was more a special than an album. Okay, definitely yeah. more of a special type deal. But she she like it was like a small tight room fit fifty. So she put fifty people in there, and then filmed this like thing in this like fucking like punk rock fucking. It's like a dive bar. The That's inside cool. of the fucking room, I, I say it all, every time I perform there, I say it looks like I'm inside a fat girl's belly button. It's just wall, f- floor to ceiling stickers, just pop punk bands. That's did, dope. Did the joke work this time? Oh, it killed. Yeah, okay. black people were like literally stomping. Like nice. literally, like there was church hats flying. It does <laughs> look like Hot Topic in here. They were like, oh my lord. <laughs> like literally, like somebody <laughs> threw an oxtail on stage like, instead of roses. <laughs> I was getting hit with oxtails. <laughs> Jamaican beef patties and oxtails. <laughs> yeah, oh my God. I just, yeah, you said you uh, crushed, right? Yeah, it was, it was awesome. It was she asked me. Yeah, she asked me to open up the show like out of nowhere. She was like, "Hey, like I just, I just, I, I'm not gonna like build a lineup or anything. I just want one person to come and open it up, get them hot." I host shit all the time, so like she was like, "Look, I know this guy. I'll come in and fucking make fun of people." And so it was like sick that she like picked me to do it. You know, because I'm a white devil. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, so, yeah, 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 anytime yeah, yeah. a black woman wants to be involved with me, I jump on it. You know what I mean? Yep. That's how, that's why I would that's why I would describe you as yeah loves to jump on black people loves to jump loves on black people jump on is black a white women. devil <laughs> yeah ice fishing for black kids <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna be the name of your next album yeah no my only album <laughs> I'm gonna get assassinated after it drops <laughs> <clears throat> yeah could be good yeah 
That's got to be a crazy level of fame to where people want to kill you. You know? Yeah. Like John Lennon style. I'm not even famous and people already want to kill me. I'm <laughs> <laughs> You're like, there's cheeseburgers, there's nachos. They're <laughs> all trying yeah, to They're all after me, dude. <laughs> dude. Cholesterol is my biggest enemy right now, dude. Yeah. Forget carbs. I, uh, mm. I tried to do the carnivore diet yesterday. Just, just, just one yesterday? day, yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, you already do do the carnivore diet. You don't eat vegetables. Yeah, but you don't I don't eat veggies. No, dude, fuck yeah, yeah, man. I hate them. What? I, just, I do a multivitamin. That's All right, it. don't fucking what? Don't do that, dude. <laughs> Well, Jim's like, good. Just, I don't Jim's know. like, they're good. <laughs> Vegetables are good. <laughs> I'm like, bacon you guys, hides them. <laughs> you guys don't eat veggies? Yeah, I'm like, it's like, shut up. <laughs> shut the fuck up. How, but how often as like a bigger guy are people like, oh, okay, you eat your veggies, it, huh? I mean, well, the thing is, I just eat everything. That's the problem. <laughs> right? I eat the fucking plate if you take your eyes off me. I don't like veggies. I don't. Not a fan. <laughs> Are there any that you like? Broccoli. Like if I'm going I can tolerate broccoli. If I'm going out to eat and uh would you knock over? I fucking broke her thing. He broke it's the Taj okay. Mahal, dude. How dare you? Fuck. <laughs> we'll fix it. Is later. she in there? She could be hurt. <laughs> 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 if I go out to eat and like I'm trying to be a little bit healthier, I'll get like uh if I'm going out to like Outback and getting a steak, I'll get like a steak with like asparagus and like broccoli. Okay. But that's like as, about as far as I go. <laughs> the, there, That's just so the steak's not lonely on the plate. <laughs> yeah, You're right. like, he needs friends. Yeah, I just ended up boxing it up and taking it home. <laughs> and then it dies <laughs> in my fridge. Throwing Throw it the, out the window on the yeah, highway. Yeah, boom. Yeah. Throw it at fucking homeless mm-hmm. people. Yep. Yeah. I know you don't have a home, but here's some asparagus. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I try to do the carnivore diet. I um <laughs> For 24 hours. <laughs> for 24 hours. Well, <laughs> I, really felt the, I really felt the burn. Yeah, well, before I left for D.C., I, I had like six eggs, and that was it. <laughs> Started acting like liver king. <laughs> yeah. I had Christ, six dude. eggs and I and then I went to DC and I came back and I realized like I didn't have any other meat in my house that was like thawed out or anything. <laughs> so then I just made I just fucking melted a bunch of cheese on a tortilla and put it in the microwave and just ate like four of those mm-hmm. and then fruit snacks. And I was That's like That's what I ate for dinner. I was last like, night. And then I had three beers and I was like, I'll start next week. Like next Jeez. week. My little sister bought like this big ass thing of like avocado ranch that's like Chick Fil A brand. Mm-hmm. Oh. So last night I had a microwave cheese tortilla and I put that on it. Oh so yeah, that's we had the same banging. dinner. I made yeah. I made pot roast last night for the. That's wife. one of my favorite meals. Bro, you put it in a crock pot or you fuck think? yeah, dude. Yeah. But I, I sear I seared it off in the pan first. Okay, right. F- seared fuck. it off in the pan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm bricked up. <laughs> dude. <laughs> Dude, anybody else here fucking feeling wet? <laughs> my socks are soaked. Dude. <laughs> I'm just sweat through the bottom of my feet. You got pot roast toes. <laughs> my my <laughs> pussy's <laughs> leaking with sodium. <laughs> but yeah, no, I fucking uh, seared it off on both sides, threw it in the in the uh, crock pot overnight, dude. Let it sit there the whole night. <laughs> nice. Came back this morning, dude. It was it was fucking dope. Yeah. I keep it simple too. I only put uh, carrots and potatoes in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that, that's all you need. It. Yeah, nice. I hate when people put celery in there. That's I've, gross. I've seen people like Get pour there. pour like a, a beef beer in their crock pot or something I guess oh yeah to- people do shit like that cause it'll fucking it'll make the meat fucking fall apart it'll oh, break the meat yeah. down pour like did, one uh, can sometimes the meat gets too soft though and you're trying to fucking get like a nice thing and it's like falling apart so. my, my wife and I got in an argument this morning over that she's like I hate that you fucking tear it up and now I'm just eating like pot roast soup she's like you gotta leave it like together some and then mm. you just pull the fat off mm-hmm. she's like I don't like to just be eating like little strips of meat and then a bunch of fat next to it and i was like oh okay i guess that makes sense mm-hmm. yeah but dude i i put uh you're like oh, okay fucking i uh, fuck me then <laughs> yeah, no, like, i went out of my way to make this fucking thing for you because i wanted to be nice because i'm gonna be out of town for the next couple of days i slaved all night over this crock pot i just pressed play on this crock pot <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> dude, dude. <laughs> but i put uh press play is hilarious I, I put, uh worcestershire sauce and uh <laughs> sriracha in there that was my secret Whoa. ingredient dude Nice. Yeah, some little Wor- Worcester, yeah. Worcester, 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 Worcester. Yeah. Worcester. Yeah. It's nice some, that you had the woo woo sauce. You yeah, had the th- you had the thought to be like, I'm not gonna see you for a couple days. Uh, here, Here's let me make, let me let me make you a delicious dinner. Yeah. I'm like I'm, I'm like I'm not gonna see you for a couple days. Can you suck it? <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> can you do something? Yeah. yeah. I need something to hold me over. Yeah, it's a long car ride. I don't have to pull over. That's like yeah. the longest way for me to be like, guys, I'm a cuck. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I made, I made my, my wife, darling her, Angel, a beautiful dinner and her boyfriend. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, Some yeah. other man's like, oh, good thing you left this meat around because I also, as well, have some meat for your wife. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. He pl- he pressed rewind. Yeah. I come back. There's just a giant black dude sitting in my living room. She's eating like fucking pot roast. He's like you <laughs> gotta Yo, leave. He's like you. He's like you gotta leave the meat together. You're like all right. I think I've heard it already. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll be splitting up your meat while you're gone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll take good care of her. I know. Mm. But it was, dude, I tried some this morning. It was fucking delicious. Yeah. Mm. I was really happy with that. Mm. The secret is cook it incredibly low. For like a long ass period of time and just let it go. Dude, it was, nice. Just it was forget great. about it. Literally. Just set it do and the, forget just it. Just do the best you can to forget that it's there. Yeah. I can't cook for shit. I just eat whatever my fiance and my, my uh, mother in law make for me. Uh, I'm a great cook. No one yeah. in my family could ever cook. So I like, I was the only one that was ever interested in learning to cook from my grandmother. So she just taught me how to cook like everything. You also, you also know how to enhance snacks. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, yeah. What did I ooh, like? Let's yeah. Hear it. Oh, I, yeah. I, 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 when I get stoned, I do fat guy shit or drunk. <laughs> he does like, he does, he's like the Gordon Ramsay of muffins. It's crazy. Oh, <laughs> yeah. My, my, so when my mom died, people just like brought over like a ton of food and stuff. And I came over. I was and, like, well, I'll help. Well, I'll, I'll get rid of the muffins. So my, my fucking Amish fucking Aunt Andrea fucking made like these delicious fucking muffins. And uh, I was like, I, I was eating them with Rob, and like Rob's like just sitting there like snacking on muffins. I raw dogging them. I just I I fucking what did I do? I fucking, you you cut he cut it in half, and then he put butter in, oh, like inside yeah, yeah, the muffin, yeah, yeah. and then he put it in the microwave. You got it. And do he it. was like, try that, and I ate it, and I was like, this is night and day. <laughs> Dude, but that, that's like that's like the way to eat like a really good like cornbread muffin. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I didn't know Tear that. Tear that bitch down the middle, put a little mm-hmm. bit of butter in there, and then just like microwave it for a few yeah minutes. it was like it changed my life i was Bro, like I, I found out like uh, it was the thing was it was blueberry muffins oh. i looked at I, looked so at, I was putting <laughs> butter on those it was getting I, weird in there <laughs> yeah, i looked at jim i was like i get it he's like oh oh yeah yeah i was, I was like, like yeah i was like if i do I this like, do you understand me now <laughs> you understand you know why i put up with the ridicule right. <laughs> for moments like these <laughs> that's just like if if uncle ben was talking to peter and they were both two giant fat dudes he's like <laughs> With great food comes great responsibility. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Just leave him a fucking comes great cholesterol. <laughs> yeah, dude. Nah, yeah. I, I, dude, I love that shit. That's like the best. What's, I, your, uh, what's your favorite fat guy snack? I told you on the way here, I fucking had a fillet of fish. Oh yeah, that's and a brave. double cheeseburger from McDonald's, Jesus dude. Jesus fuck. On the road, but let me tell you, those fries I got, I went inside. That was the key. I didn't go through the drive-through because I'm not a fucking idiot. I had to pee pee, and I went in. And fucking, I went to the bathroom while I waited for my food. My fries were the hottest fries. They were incredibly fresh, super salty. I keep my, talking. Bro, <laughs> what's, the, what's the difference between going in or going through the drive-thru? I feel like going through the drive-thru, they don't really have to look you in the face to so know they're that like, they're fucking you yeah. when they hand mm-hmm. you dog shit food. So you go in, they got to look you in the eye before they try to pawn off some bullshit on you. Mm-hmm. So I got it. Dude, everything was immaculate. Mm-hmm. The, it was the greatest. Dude, the McDonald's in my town that I live in, they just knocked it down and rebuilt it. So they have like shit in there that like they're running the beta. Like Dude, they have, you know the coolest part? Yet. There was a guy, I felt like such a dickhead. There was a guy in there and I heard him say afterwards it was his first day there. Yeah. And he was just standing behind the counter and he like I walked in and he like made eye contact with me and then I just walked up to the screen and just ordered at the screen mm-hmm. and then paid and then looked at him. And I never, really, I didn't even say. I a word really to love him at that all they put afterward. those in there. Those kiosks. That's they, hilarious. They the were fact like, that we you can want... go inside and still not have to interact with a mutant <laughs> is the best. It was dope because these like two black dudes came in afterwards, and I watched one of them touch the the girl behind the counter. I get. I'm hoping that he knew her because he wiped her chin with his thumb, <laughs> and I was like, Yo, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> Complete strangers. But then, yeah, right. But then like the the white kid behind the counter like stepped to the side. As he wiped her chin and was like, "This is my first day," and I was like, "That's a weird thing to see on your first day at work." Yeah, that's pretty. Just crazy. a random black dude walk in like reverse Simba, some girl's <laughs> chin, mm-hmm. just fucking. I was like, "All right, this is weird." Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think it is funny that they put those fucking kiosks in. Like I love the it. workers were like, "We want to be able to survive." Did you ever have a crazy first day at a job? Um, my crazy crazy first day at a job. Oh, yeah, when I worked security at Crozier. I've told you that story before. The first, that was your first day? Well, it was like, I mean, probably like my third day. Oh, like, okay. It, like, but like, it was like right away. It was yeah, crazy. significantly crazy. Like, I, I watched a, a guy get tackled. This guy, I think I might have told this story before, but uh, on the podcast, but this guy was, um, he had a he had a bottle of his own piss, mm-hmm. and he was putting it all, because I worked Clearly security. mentally stable. This doesn't stable. sound familiar, yeah, so yeah. this is new to me. Okay, so he had a bottle of his own piss, and he was uh, pouring it all over uh, his hospital room. Mm-hmm. And he was high. Well, like they gave him too much medication. He was already like crazy, and so he's pouring it all over the hospital room, like making like a like a witch's circle of his own piss. And we try and like 
the nurses called us like, hey, you got to go like stop this guy. So it's me and like two like fucking like linebackers walk in to like go deal with this guy. Mm-hmm. And um, <laughs> and so we walk in the room and he's pouring piss everywhere and they're trying to talk him down. Like, hey, buddy, like you got to like you got to stop. Like, what are you doing? He's like, I love you. I love everybody. He's covering his r- the room in piss. Like, he's like, you got to stop, dude. You got to cut it out. He's like, he's like, I can't. I love you. I love everybody. That's all he kept saying. Just filling this room with piss. And then he ran out of piss. So then he fills up water from the sink and starts pouring water. And now it's piss. It's like piss and water. And <laughs> and then he, he and then he says, he, he's looking at me and the guys. He's like, I love you. And he takes a water that was previ- that still has a little bit of like leftover piss in it and splashes it at the one dude's face. And then he just looked at him. He grabbed him. Slammed him into the sink that was attached to the wall. Ripped the sink off the wall. More water's coming into the hospital room, and like, and the other guy grabs him, and they're both struggling. So like, I try to like sweep his legs. So now I'm on the ground, and my legs are covered in piss and water. Ugh. And I was, yeah, I and I asked one of the other officers after that. I was like, how often does shit like this happen? Because it was literally my third day on the job. They're like pretty often. They didn't even like try to lie. They're like, yeah, it's like regular That's thing. That's like part of it. That would have yeah. been the yeah. perfect time for you to piss your own pants. <laughs> <laughs> if I was oh my really God, nervous. Dude, somebody, p- <laughs> he got piss all over my pants. <laughs> I get really scared and pee myself. I pretend to slip. Oh, oh no, shit. who shit my pants? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but that was uh, that was crazy. And then like dude. this other uh, one of the other security officers, he was like showing me scars of like people who had like bit him. And like I was, I I stayed at that job way longer than I. I should have just been like, this isn't worth thirteen dollars an hour. I don't have bills. Why am I here? Mm-hmm. Like I didn't have that thought process because I think because uh, my dad, who was alive at the time, he always had this thing. It's like you never start a job and then quit it. You have to, you know, like my because my dad like that's never not true. People do that all the time. Yeah, well, that's I why, know. Yeah, that's why it exists. So I don't want my dad to think I was a pussy. I think that's why I never quit. Fuck yeah, that's funny. He's like he never took a sick day his entire life and now he's dead and now he's dead Fucking, so you know, that just goes see? to show now he's got a lot of sick days yeah <laughs> he's got sure. yep he's permanent retirement skipping work dude. PTO. <laughs> yeah. lazy fuck <laughs> uh, my that's yeah same with my dad he's dead so he doesn't work at all yeah. paid time off the planet yeah. <laughs> dead parent club <laughs> woohoo <Dude. laughs> shout out to us huh? yeah <laughs> also I uh, I'm not from here and I'm such an idiot when you said Crozier I thought you were just trying to be nice about the grocery store Kroger oh no I was saying, when you were saying uh, like that there was a dude in there with piss. I'm like, that sounds like grocery store activity. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, Crozier is a hospital. I used uh, to work okay. At. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I thought you were just trying to church up like the grocery store. No. Yeah. I. Yeah. Working security at a hospital is the worst fucking thing I think anybody can do. Dude. So funny story. Uh, I remember one time my my dad was in the hospital and uh, he was in there. He had just had this is like the sad part. He had just had a heart attack mm-hmm. and like they had him in the hospital, whatever. And uh, I went to go see him, and my dad was like, reach into my, my pants over there, grab my wallet. So I, I took out his wallet, and he's like, take my card, go down to the cafeteria, get yourself something to eat. So I was like, all right, cool. He goes, but on your way back, there's a subway right next to the cafeteria. I don't want anything that they're going to feed me in here because I don't feel like eating it. Right. Go to the subway on your way back to my room. Get me a, a foot long. This is what I want. He had me write down his subway order. Mm-hmm. And then I went in there, took his card, used it, bought him like subway and brought it back up to his room. And I was like, here you go, man. Enjoy. Yeah. And I just fed my dad like subway after he had just had a heart attack. <laughs> I thought you were going to say you went back up to the room. Yeah, he, he was, was dead. dead. Yeah, <laughs> was Holy fucking that, shit. Dude, that would have been wild. That my dad's w- just like, ha, I tricked you. <laughs> no. And I just had to eat the sub by myself. You eat the saddest subway sandwich. Dude, mm-hmm. That's yeah, most Just banana of them. pepper juice dripping on his dead face. <laughs> so then, that would have sucked. How much longer did your dad live after that sandwich? A few years. Okay. At least, yeah, that sandwich. Okay. It might have like, been it. It might have yeah. been the thing. What if that was the thing that's like <laughs> over the edge? Mm-hmm. I should have brought back like you know like a broccoli bowl or something simple. And be like <laughs> this is where you save witch. yourself, dude. Mm-hmm. This is your this, this is, is your this turning is where we point. Turn it back. Yeah, that's no, so I, funny, I didn't man. do that. I enabled him to, you know, disenable himself. Yeah, we're all oh, here dude, for we disabled. enabled my mom, dude. Are you we're, kidding me? We're here for a good time, not a long time. Yeah, fuck it, dude. But I just love that he was like, they keep fucking trying to feed me Jello. This shit tastes like shit. It's like, yeah, well, your Get heart me. isn't working. Yeah, dude. He's like, dude, my my heart might be failing, but my taste buds still fucking work. Get yeah, me a these fucking things sub. are working. These things are working overtime. Actually, he had me bring him like a. It was like a a, a meatball sub from down there, which I was like, that's a weird. 
like a uh, weird uh, sub of choice from Subway. Like, Subway. They yeah. just think you're trying to kill him. The <laughs> hospital thinks you're trying. They're like, no, no, he wanted this. No, right, this is Dan? what he wanted. He's like, I have no idea who this is. <laughs> <laughs> who wants meatballs? <laughs> yeah. Who would? Yeah. I saw. I saw some uh, rumor or something. I don't know if it's true, but apparently all the meat at Subway is just turkey. Like no matter what it is, it's like it's all turkey, and they just season it to be like. Tastes like chicken. There's a r- there's like, a subway a, rumor that comes thing. out. I think that's like one of the like conspiracy theorists' like favorite restaurants to pick on. Yeah. Have you seen that thing about the bread? Like the bread just never goes stale. And mm. also the bread can't even be considered bread because there's so much sugar in it. It's like technically a fucking dessert. That's hilarious, bro. I, know I that. love that they like absolutely don't give a fuck at all about anything whatsoever. And it's then, literally not food. The like. They're like, we've had a rough few years with our biggest like face of the company <laughs> yeah, being a, a fucking pedophile. And they're like, but what if we fucking sweeten that deal for you and give you foot-long cookie and <laughs> foot-long pretzels? <laughs> yeah. And you're like, all right, I would suck a dick for a foot-long cookie. I'm like dude. gagging on awesome. a foot-long churro. Like, <laughs> dude, I know. How many kids This got is fucking- progress. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Say their names. I'm like, nope. Uh, get I, more cream I would, but cinnamon is tasty. That's so a foot long cookie. Yeah, it's got a ton of calories. Dude, there I saw I've seen videos of fucking people buying two of those cookies and putting ice cream down the middle and making foot long ice cream oh, sandwiches. It looks so good. And I'm like, dude, no wonder why the fucking like No wonder we die everyone's so dead. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. so easy to just be fat. I know, dude. I love dude, it. Dude, it happened in like six months. I used to be rail thin. <laughs> You stop doing coke. I like, like yeah. I got yeah. I had, I'm just like ready I had for one it. bag of coke ever in my life, and I, it made me ballooned. thin. You're like, oh, I'm so coke bloated. I was like, oh. <laughs> no, I got super thin, and then I and then I came back up, dude. <laughs> I'm just waiting for that like part where inevitably like everybody looks like the fucking people in the chairs and Wally. Oh yeah, that that's is coming. exactly what's happening. It's with dude. the with the Apple Pro VR headset shit. This could be I felt I watched Shawshank on one of those because my sister uh, her There's job. There's gonna be no reason to wash your balls, soon, which <laughs> yeah, is <dude. that's> <laughs> sick. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, because when all dudes on the planet all have like the sweatiest nuts ever, I'm like, babe, where are you gonna go? Like, yeah, come on. Yeah, not this any is, better. This out is there. the There's normal. No, there's, this is they're the gonna normal. like write tales of like a land where people use soap. <laughs> it's, it's, the incels are taking over. Because well, if you think about it, what like 400 years ago, everybody's balls stunk. <laughs> yeah, 400 That's years true. ago, people were slaves. Yeah, well, <laughs> in this country. Well, yeah, yeah, but but like, there everybody's balls stunk. So really, mm-hmm. nobody's balls stunk. Mm-hmm. That's true. Know? Yeah, there was no status quo. Like everybody stunk. Yeah. Yep. How far we've fallen as a society? I, I looked it up one time because I got bored, and I like I was trying to figure out like what they did before toilet paper, mm-hmm. and it was like a series of like sticks and like scrapers that they would just scrape their assholes with. That sounds pretty fucking just awful. Using a spatula to just scrape Ew. your butthole. Yeah, like, well, just, yeah, and then uh, like, cake frosting. I think Ew. it was like the Romans started doing like the bathhouse type thing, like, where like they had like the communal toilet type deal, and they were all and they were they were all boys. using the same fucking. Like sponge scrubber, just fucking get the butt scrubber. Same <laughs> they would all use dick. the same stick with a fucking sponge on it. The and then same doo doo loofah, just mm-hmm. yeah. And then some genius is finally like, wait a minute, let me use this soft piece of cloth to try and clean my asshole. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Well, what's funny is like over here, like p- people talk shit on America using toilet paper, and then they literally use their hand right? to wipe shit off their ass. Yeah. I also bet that that was like the first dude that figured out like toilet paper was also the first guy that's like, no, 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 trust me. Like, it feels good when you rub it back there. Guys, try it, try it. <laughs> Our G spot's in the anus. And everybody's like, that guy's gay, dude. Get him. Get him. Oh, yeah, get him. Heretic. Yeah, yeah. drown him. They love to drown way more yeah. back then. We don't that's do true. it now. I wish Some, we did. So if you like, if you take a shit and, and you like it, is it gay? I feel yes. like it is. Oh, yeah. Hmm. You have some explaining to do? No, I'm just saying like... You're, you're like, I have some bookings in June coming up, <laughs> it turns out. My, my, <laughs> my, wife, my wife fucking makes fun of me every day because when I wake up in the morning, I'll weigh myself before I like piss and shit. Nice. I'll, I'll weigh myself every day and then I'll like, I'll go in and then I'll come out and I'll weigh myself again. I'm like, nice, dude. Yeah, yeah. just to notice. Oh, see yeah. Him. I have like a lot of like tendencies of somebody with an eating disorder, but without like the mm-hmm. eating disorder part. Like I don't, like I don't have. I've got the anything. eating down. I'm trying to get the disorder. The disorder. Part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was at. Yeah, I. I guess really the only time I ever feel like I have an eating disorder is when I drink too much and I have to make myself puke. Because like you're the, when we were about to leave for that show, I was like, like sick, and I was like, I don't have to puke, but I need to puke. I also love that you got. 
eggs benedict with spinach and like tomato on it or whatever the fuck <laughs> and then i get fucking talked into the biggest fucking plate of breakfast i've ever fucking seen in my life yeah the lady goes you want to hear the specials i'm like yeah sure she goes we got stuffed french toast with peanut butter and marshmallow and i was like sold done that sounds awesome and then my wife goes what's the other special and she goes we have biscuits and gravy a pile of mush dude yeah biscuits she's like and gravy she goes we got favorite. biscuits and gravy with fried chicken and jalapenos and cheese and scram mm-hmm. like and eggs on top whatever blah 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 i look at my wife and my wife goes get that that's what you're getting it had like crushed up bacon in it but dude it was literally like the size of a, a grown man's head I should, like, yeah just go like this right now. <laughs> Bro. <Someone's> like, <laughs> fuck <laughs> Now, yeah, <laughs> Dude, yeah, but you, it was, you had a much bigger breakfast, than and I had. then I got a side of home fries because it didn't come with those. Yeah, mm. and then my wife and I just kind of split it while she had like hash browns and fucking scrambled eggs. Yeah, and I was like, I look like the fattest fucking person at our like our little corner. Mm-hmm. I had two eggs and nine mimosas, and I called it brunch. I was like, this is brunch. I mean, we're not. It's not like I'm at a bar. <laughs> Dude, yeah. These old people kept coming in and trying to like jump in our conversations. We were talking oh, about how much we were drinking. That. I yeah. fucking hate when someone around wants to like get involved. Some oh old God. white lady at one point was like, "I know that's right." And we were like, "Shut the cool. fuck up." We've had. We were at uh, a lot Rob of and I. Alcohol. Rob and I were at fu- and his wife. We were all at fucking Outback in Mississippi, oh, and this yeah. fucking drunk black dude sitting next to this old drunk black piece of shit has nothing to do with uh, that he was black. <laughs> <laughs> but this old drunk fucking black piece of shit would not shut the fuck up. The whole time we were trying to sit there and have dinner, just talking about nothing. We were trying to watch the Eagles game. I would try. Yeah, I'm trying to watch the, the fucking bar. Birds game. Dude, Pretend. just let me eat my fucking brown bread in peace, dude. Shut, Shut the fuck the up. Fu- it was my first time at Outback. I'm trying to, to be, I'm trying to absorb all of the fucking you ambiance. I, I literally don't remember anything <laughs> except get, for except for the fact that this guy wouldn't shut the fuck up. Did you get the k- kookaburra wings? No, oh, those are my no. best. The fuck, I, I dude! I used to get the Alice Springs chicken quesadilla, dude. Mm-hmm. Money. That dude, we good. were all now nah, we were on like struggle shit. We were like, we're gonna go there and have like napkins. <laughs> 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 we were trying to conserve. I was like, I'll Man. use someone. I'll yeah. fucking eat a napkin. It was our first time on the road. We already driven so fucking far and like spent so much money on gas. Just full like, like dumb and dumber shit. Yeah, I had like two credit cards that were like already like overdue, and I was like, I like didn't even have a wallet or ID <laughs> at the time. Like it was like so <laughs> fucking insane. I was like, yeah, I'm ready to go. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, I'm ready to hit the road. All Could the way I get to Texas. a bowl of ice cubes, please? <laughs> yeah, but to be fair, I think Outback. It was one of the only two. Places there that was nothing existed else there in for hundred miles. Yeah, because it, it was Meridian, Mississippi. So it was Fuck. like there was a Walmart, a gas station, and a fucking Outback. It was like forty-five minutes to and a Waffle House and a Waffle House. And we, we didn't. Never, you didn't dude, let waffle me go to the Waffle right. House because you were scared. Why were you, you scared of Waffle House? He, he wanted scared. to like. I wanted to go to Waffle House late at night so we could see a fight. <laughs> dude, that's prime shit. That, and he was like, "No." no I remember scary. Uh, in high school, I was with my buddies, and we were like, <laughs> fre- I think we were like fresh out of like our senior year, so we just graduated, and it was like me and a couple friends, and we were at this fucking Waffle House like at, like two in the morning. We were just hanging out doing hood rat shit, and there was this like. <laughs> old, this old <laughs> fucked up lady mm-hmm. and it was like her and like her friend and there was like two dudes with them and it was like this super like blue vein tittied old lady and she was like mm. sitting next to us and she was like ooh look at y'all bunch of young boys mm, yeah. I, I bet I could take a turn on y'all I was like we would run a fucking train on you lady and I just kept <laughs> we saying we will rape you I was, I was <laughs> saying the wildest shit to this old lady and I was like dude I'll, I was like I remember being like I'll lick your butt so hard your head will hurt and she was like what but I just I kept fucking saying just off the wall shit to this old lady and my buddy Sean's just sitting next to me laughing to the point where he's like doing that like weird like cough laugh mm-hmm. And he's like, dude, stop, 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 stop. And he just gets up from the table and runs to the bathroom. And I just hear him fucking blah, all oh. over. Oh, wow. And he fucking projectile vomited all over the fucking Waffle House bathroom. And he comes out and he's like, dude, we got to get the fuck out of here. Yep. He's like, I just <laughs> dragon vomited all over the bathroom and I, I, we got to go. I, uh, yeah, that's the fucking best. That, I did that. I've had a couple of scenarios where because of either puking or shitting, I had to leave somewhere. Like my house? Yeah, yeah, that was pretty. You guys yeah. ready for the show, dude? Let's, <laughs> yeah, let's go. I, uh, yeah, I <laughs> no. shit. I shit a restaurant so badly that I swear to God, it closed. Like, <laughs> oh shit! I, I shit. I, uh, I shit in the story. Yeah, I think so. I shit at this <laughs> diner, the Manoa Diner in Havertown. Rest in peace. 
I uh, I shit so bad there, and then I I, f- I flushed it, and then I was washing my hands. I noticed I didn't watch it go down, so I was watch I was I was washing my hands. And I noticed that like I saw the water <laughs> rising. I was like, hold on a minute, oh, no. and then it didn't stop rising, and then there was nothing in there for me to grab. They didn't have anything in there for me to fix it with. Yeah, and I'm not gonna like rush out of there and be like, hey, <laughs> yeah, right. hey, patrons of this restaurant, <laughs> right. I've done something awful. <laughs> right, so dude. I just I just I hurried up. I dried my hands. I got out of there, and as I closed the door behind me, I heard the water start hitting the floor oh, so yeah. i ran up to my dad and sister and we're like hey we need to get out of here it was before we even got our food was it <laughs> you that just told me that story the other day about fucking uh, yeah in dc dude i did uh i think i told you the story jim but i when i was in uh washington dc um i was on the hunt for brunch again it's bottomless <laughs> mimosas the was, food doesn't matter yeah no i was looking for bottomless mimosas rob's and gay I, friends <laughs> have ruined him <laughs> yeah I was on the hunt. Don't for you know you can drink all you want and never get bloated? Yeah. Just throw it up. <laughs> <laughs> so I went. I I found this uh this bar or like slash restaurant, uh the only place that had bottomless mimosas not on a Sunday in D.C. So I had to go like so like somewhere I forget the name of it, but it was uh it was an all black establishment. I don't know how else to put it. Everybody in there was black, right? So I walk in there and they're like, "How you doing, baby?" It was, like, it was a- just a Denny's that served. <laughs> <laughs> it was just. Yeah, it was just. <laughs> so you here for your all star special. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so I sat there and the, and they didn't have any food on the menu that I wanted. So I just ordered bottomless mimosas and I just sat there and I was just like, "Keep them coming." Just kept drinking mimosas and then I and then I meet and then after so I paid my tab. Thank God when I was ready to leave and I'm like pretty fucked up now. But I had to take a shit. So I went into the bathroom and it's a single use bathroom. You can only, it's for like one person at a time. And I took a shit and there were people like knocking on the door, like trying to, I was like occupied, like <laughs> occupied. So I'm taking a shit and then same thing. So I go to wash my hands. I flush and I'm washing my hands and then the water, like it would, it didn't f- like go over, but my shit is still in it. Like uh, clearly, I took a shit. So now they had a. Hang- it's like lip sliding the bowl. <laughs> <laughs> you see the, sur- the surface tension just it's doing, like, it's doing a fucking tail slide. Yeah, it's, it's like doing Tony Hawk tricks. It's on Tony the bowl. Hawk tricks on the fucking. So I, but they had a plunger, so I tried to plunge it. Now I'm clocking in. I'm like, all right, I gotta all fix right. this. Yeah, there's a, lot, there's a line up. outside. And um, just walk and out. I, somebody blew that fucking bathroom up in there. Gross. I couldn't, yeah, I couldn't get it down. And I was like, thank. I was <laughs> I'm like, just gonna have to grab this guy. So literally, I like, I opened up the door and then just like ran out the restaurant <laughs> and then went down the block to order an Uber because I thought they were gonna like follow me out. So I ran out. I ran out the You're restaurant. You're on a security camera. <laughs> yeah. There's like really bad security camera footage of both of us, like in a bunch just of places, <laughs> fleeing the have scene. You, have you seen this? person yeah the phantom have you jumper. seen this have you seen this genderless person <laughs> have you seen this thing <laughs> bigfoot footage <laughs> yeah us uh, blurry <laughs> yeah there's a there's a there's a, a, a shopping center in denver that has me on camera going from store to store in a puke covered shirt <laughs> trying to figure out Holy where the shit. dxl was oh, yeah. <laughs> i fucking <laughs> i blacked out and i threw up all over myself in denver and I fucking, I, I had to throw, I threw a shirt away. I had to throw a shirt away. <laughs> so I'm roaming around uh, in, in in like just a puke covered undershirt. Damn. And I stumble into the fucking DXL covered in puke. And I look at the lady and I go, shirts. <laughs> and so she takes me to the fucking like the pack. <laughs> I got to fucking help this retard. Shirts. He doesn't know where he is. <laughs> shirts. 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 Shirts, please. Shirt, I, yeah, shirts. shirts. So she takes me and I grab a pack of like five mm-hmm. like gray t-shirts. I pop it open in the store, throw one on. I was like, you got a trash can back there? She's like, you're not throwing away this like puke covered shirt. And I'm like, you got a trash can? <laughs> She's like, no, dude. No. So I, I, and then I remember she rang me up for the fucking shirts. It was like four shirts. And she was like, $56. I was like, fucking what? I was like, I'll should take it off. <laughs> so, give me back my puke shirt. <laughs> give me back my, yeah, give me back puke. Y'all wear him. <laughs> so, uh, so there's, there's security footage of me like ditching like puke covered clothes, <laughs> just drunken, like disgusting, like between you look two like you buildings. just got done, like committing. And of course murder. I fucking take my dick out and piss in the same, <laughs> I've got to piss. I'm like, I'm already so down bad. I might as well. Be 
that rules. That's it was a it was an experience. It was a horrible, horrible. Didn't you week. didn't you drink a whole like family size pitcher? I drank a this? half gallon of screwdriver. <laughs> I mixed Holy I mixed fuck, half a bottle dude. of Tito's and orange juice and took it to the Denver Zoo. Walked around in the heat. <laughs> drank it. Oh my god. Drank it and puked. <laughs> Mommy, why is he in the bear enclosure? <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> it's like Harambe, but they have. To I'm put like you talking down. to the elephant. I'm like, you're so wise. <laughs> you're so smart. <laughs> Trying to square up on giraffes. Uh, yeah. Instead of having to put the other animal down, they have to put you yeah, down. I'm like, yeah, yeah. I'm like talking to the giraffes. I'm like, what'd that neck do? <laughs> I'm like, if there was a school trip here now, I'd be killing it. <laughs> There's no one there. It was like a fucking Tuesday at like 10 30 in the morning. You guys, uh, you guys been to Bucky's at all? Oh, Bucky's? Yeah. No, I've never been oh, to Bucky's. No, we've been to Bucky's, bro. Have we? Yes. So, oh. uh, you know, Aunt a- Perez, so like a couple years ago, me and him went out to Austin with another buddy of ours and like went to Bucky's one night and we were all like, so like, we were over by like Vulcan, like on Sixth Street, like hanging out, and we got like fucking the whole time we were there. We were like incredibly fucked up. Like, yep, us I too. Drank more than I've ever drank my entire life. I smoked DMT. I did mushrooms, mm-hmm. and I was just walking around Sixth Street, like passing homeless people, just blacking out. At one point, we like walked past an alley, and very clearly, like down the alley was somebody just getting jumped in the alley, mm-hmm. and we're like, ah, not we're, my like, problem. Just, just going, like I'm fucking like face fucking voodoo donuts and shit just like complete piece of shit Dude. so then we're like all right let's go to bucky's and we drove like 40 minutes out to this bucky's and i remember like pieces of the drive out there and i'm just blacking out and we go into bucky's and uh me and aunt find these cowboy hats and i'm like fuck yeah let's get cowboy hats dude we're in texas yeah i black out we get back to like where we're staying i wake up in the morning i'm like dude i got a fucking cowboy hat I'm like where the fuck did I get this I look at my bank statement I spent $200 at Bucky's apparently I paid for my hat and I look at aunt and I'm like damn dude look how expensive this fucking hat was there's a price tag on it that said $70 he goes that's crazy cause I didn't spend any money at that Bucky's last night and he tipped his hat at me and just fucking was like ah. <laughs> he goes you know it's free if you just take it oh wow he just, dude he just put the fucking hat on <laughs> walked up to the counter while I paid for all this shit and then just walked out with it on <laughs> fucking Howdy, ma'am. Howdy, just dip. Man. It just fucking, I was like, that's pro shit right there. I was like, what fuck a, yeah. And then it genius. just made me look like a bitch because I paid for all my shit. I was so drunk that I was honest. I just paid for everything. That's the worst. Oh, I dude, felt like one such time, a bitch. One time I fucking, I did like a, uh, my friend filmed me do it. I did like a, a Jack Daniels slam. I fucking killed like almost a whole fifth of Jack Daniels. Did you really? I went to, yeah. So And then I went down to the Electric Factory. is a music venue we have here. And I went to see this guy, DJ Carnage. And, uh, I thought my you were going to f- say DJ Khaled. No, I fucking, oh my God, wish. I went to see this guy, DJ Carnage. My friend like bought tickets and couldn't go, so she sent me two tickets and was like, I don't want these to go to waste. You should go. So I told my buddy, and we got a, a thing of Jack Daniels. I fucking blacked out before we even got on the train to get down Holy there. Shit. So I had the tickets on my, f- on my phone. I fucking paid for two tickets at the door for like to be in front of him. So like I paid like I was probably like almost a hundred bucks a ticket oh, and I had God. two tickets already. <laughs> so like the next day, like like I was like, Oh, like I thought I was like I was like, What what happened? I was like I asked my buddy, he was like, Yeah, he was like you couldn't pull the tickets up on your phone, so you just bought two of them. <laughs> and it was like Fuck. the worst. I to this day I'm like, Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck brutal. you. I still like get pissed about that. Yeah. My buddy not taking my phone and pulling the tickets up. Dude, blacking out, is, me blacking out is wild. And then blacking out around people you know is also like, because mm-hmm. afterwards they're like, do you remember that? And you're like, no, f- no, not at all. I don't. Of course I don't. I black so my out. friends are assholes. Don't make shit up. Bro. I remember <laughs> one time uh, my ex-wife fucking, I like, her and I had been drinking all day and I was drinking like shaker bottles like for the gym, like full of like tequila. <laughs> and we're drinking margaritas and shit. And I went through like a full like like a 12 pack of cider so I'm like fucking hella sugar and I'm just fucked up and like my buddies came over we were getting ready to go to this show it was like some band it was like their farewell show and we go up we've been drinking all day and I'm like I get there still drinking I start I just black out Mm -hmm. and uh, apparently on the car ride back I grab my buddy Mark who was driving and I go what you don't think my fucking wife is pretty oh and I like grabbed him and apparently I like I started headbutting his fucking car window and was like trying to punch the window out. And I guess at some point I started talking to my my ex-wife in the back seat about like putting it in her butt in front of people in Hell the car. Yeah. And we got home and I woke up to her throwing a bag of Wendy's at me being like, here's your fucking food, asshole. And I was like, 
dude, why are you so mad right now? I woke up in just my boxers mm. and started freaking out because I thought I was, uh, I thought she took advantage of me while I was blacked out. So I, like, I woke up just my my boxers and I thought that I got raped for oh, some reason. Dude, I was, I was freaking out. <laughs> it, was, it was pretty bad. That's got it. That's, dude, blacking out when like other people witnesses the fucking worst fucking dude, shit. It was awful. I, um, yeah, that's crazy, man. It's funny. You're like, <laughs> so did you get to put in her butt or no? No. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> One time after we split up, we were hanging out and she gave me, she got me fucked up on uh, Clonopin. Mm. So we we went to Bush Gardens and we were drinking at Bush used Gardens. To be my, like, used to be my drug of choice. Oh, uh, fuck yeah. Bro, I'd never done it before. So like, she did this like sick like movie shit. We went to fucking an amusement park, right? We go to this amusement park and uh, we're like drinking. We smoke like in the car and I'm like, oh, I'm fucking, I'm twisted. Ah, And then we go inside and she's like, you want to like really have some fun? I'm like, all right, sure, whatever. So she like puts it in her tongue and then slides it to me. Like it's like we're not allowed to do that. Uh-huh. So I'm like, oh shit, this is cool. And then it, it all hits me. We leave the fucking park and go to this bar like back in Richmond. And she's like, dude, she was like scheming on these ladies at the bar. She's like, that girl's hot. That girl's hot. She's like, let me fuck those girls. And I was like, that's not how consent works, dude. Like yeah. it's not my call. And she's like, let me like try to fuck them. And then, like, eventually she's like, fuck this, I want to go home. In your head, you're like, hell yeah. Dude, I was like, okay, I'll <laughs> yeah. tell them. Hey, yeah. my wife wants to take a turn on <laughs> you. You fucked butt. up on Kalanapin? Like, yeah. my wife wants to fuck yeah, me. Dude, my, my wife, that's definitely real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. hey, excuse me, I have a pretty lady that wants to do things to your body. <laughs> yeah. But we, like, Follow me. we go back to her apartment, and she's like, I can't, f- I'm so fucked up. She's like, I can't, I want a pizza. I can't order pizza. And I was like, dude, I'm fucked up. I don't feel like ordering you pizza. She goes, I will let you put it in my ass if you go on Domino's and order me a pizza. And immediately I was like, what kind of pizza you want? <laughs> and I, like, I came out like, immediately. Yeah, I was like, yeah. yeah, what fucking You're like, what pizza, you need your taxes done? I was like, dude, yeah, you don't, you fucking, yeah. I'll, get, I'll dig a hole you right heard, now. You heard pizza and back rub. You're yeah. like, fuck yeah. Immediately Ooh. she's like, you could put it in my ass if you order me a pizza. And I was like, you want stuffed crust? Like, what are you, what are we doing here? <laughs> and then, uh, dude, I ordered the pizza and I was like, hey, it's on the way. And she goes, all right. And just fucking took her pants off and was like, just have at it. And you were I was like, like, you're like, hell yeah. All right. <laughs> Hindsight, I'm like, what the fuck was I thinking? That's I got, every, that's every <laughs> grinder experience I've ever had. <laughs> like every grinder experience I've ever had. Played for you gotta, pizza. You like, got to order me pizza first. I'm like, uh-uh, uh, Do you uh, want me to suck your dick? You gotta I'm like, buy. uh-uh, chief. That's going to be fucking lava cakes. <laughs> 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 hmm. Oh, man. <laughs> I, um, yeah, I blacked out. One time I blacked out. Oh, it was my, right after my 21st birthday. I had just turned 21 and my sister took me down the beach to get like fucked up with her, my brother-in-law and her, uh, one friend. And my wife, um, was like waiting back at the uh, house for me. And she was like, she was like, don't get too drunk. She's like, cause I'm going to be waiting for you when you get home. And I was like, all right. I was like, yeah. And then I came home <laughs> and I was, I walked up the steps like, uh, like I was like dead, <laughs> and she's like, and she, Ew. Uh, and she all she she was so she said she was waiting in like, uh, in like the guest room like bed for me like totally naked like ready to go like mm-hmm. she just shaved she was like totally ready, and then she just heard me come up the steps and my parents go, oh what'd you do to him? And then so she put on her clothes and went to go check on me, and I was just I was just laying on the porch just like like puking. And then the fucking the my sister's uh, beagle, who's dead now, rest in peace, wandered up and started eating my puke. That's what killed him. <laughs> oh, it was eighty four percent liquor. <laughs> yeah. Jesus, dude. You're like, why is the dog stumbling? And then, what are you and, so and then I blacked out. I don't. I didn't remember any of that part. And I woke up on a beanbag chair, to my wife standing over me like this. And I was like, "What happened?" She was like, "What happened was you did not get lucky last night." Is what happened. I was like, "Fuck." But then we went home and had sex, so it all worked out. I was like, she just had to wait one more day. You're like, you got no cookie. Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny, dude. Damn. Yeah. It's uh, it's always a bummer. So it's blacking out. It's blacking <laughs> out. That's called yeah. blacking out. Actually, I think we're uh, close to the Patreon now. Um, Real quick, uh, we're going to go over to the Patreon in a minute here. We want to thank our top tier supporters, Chris Jinn, Mike Falls, Squall, Miles Schultz, Andrew Herbert, Tim Sislow, Jordan Dillabo, and Alaska Woods. Um, we had a moment of silence request, but we didn't have any beers, so we'll do that uh, probably in the next episode. Um, and yeah, we're uh, we're gonna go over to the Patreon here in a minute. Um, I guess I'll let everybody know where they can find me. 
Uh, I'm going to be at uh, Maine on Friday, uh, New Hampshire Saturday, uh, Fort Worth, Texas, 426, Church of Satire, June 14th to 15th. That's a cool club. Zanies, June 18th, and Commonwealth Sanctuary, uh, September 7th, and then also Denver to be announced soon. Um, do you have anything you want to plug? Uh, yeah, uh, April 19th, uh, Fat Lady oh, yeah, Brewing, Fat Lady two Brewing. shows. Yeah, Mr. Big Time's actually forgetting about his, Sorry. Uh, his, his, his roots. Sorry. Mr. Fucking Mr. On Tour. Um, yeah, April 19th, you can see me and Rob at Fat Lady Brewing. April 20th, you can see me at, with Finessica doing her Funny Money show. And then, um, uh, oh, uh, fuck, April 18th, you can see me and my buddy Mike Rainey, uh, headlining, uh, our show with our buddy Mario Colavita. So, oh, hell yeah, dope, dope. Um, it's gonna be fun. Yeah, that's gonna be really fun. Uh, tickets are available online, and then, uh, June twenty eighth, Rob Stant and I we're uh, we're featuring and hosting for Casey Rocket at Helium. Yeah, so we're doing gonna, that again. That's dope. That'll be fun. And then the next day, uh, we're doing Media Theater, so it's gonna be a lot. And then uh, you're just going down your whole fucking yeah. Itinerary. You know what? I just well, God, they're all coming to me as I say <laughs> them. Uh, June fifteenth. This is just this is just announced. Okay. June fifteenth, uh, Fat Lady Brewing, uh, comedy show, queer comedy show. Uh, oh, okay. I'm so Rob has it. from Rob has until then to fucking suck on <laughs> <Yeah>. it. <laughs> Gotta figure it out. Um, let everybody know where they can find you, Nick. Uh, it, my social it's uh, Nick D's comedy on everything. But uh, if you're in Virginia, uh, I'll be in Northern Virginia at the Electric Palm April nineteenth, April twenty fifth. I have a Don't Tell Comedy Show in Richmond with. Uh, couple special guest headliners that cool. are actually from up here sweet that'll be coming through that are, are, are pretty dope uh i'll be at the dc comedy loft may 10th and 11th with uh, my buddy rob ward and then i have some other stuff coming up and then uh yeah cool yeah fuck yeah all right cool you good to hang for the patreon fuck yeah hell yeah dude all right yeah. we'll see you guys over on part time. two uh we love you stink it forward and don't forget to wash your hands